Welcome back to more Beyond Skyrim Bruma. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Last time we explored Anga, which was really cool. Our first alien ruin here in the Bruma area, the Bruma County. Let's go ahead and level up. I kind of forgot to do that last time. We're level 19. Yeah, we still have no issues whatsoever with... Oh, wait a second. I'm, I'm thinking no issues with whatsoever with Magicka, right? So maybe... I'm thinking we put some points into stamina and then... Uh, maybe not. Let's just go health. And then perks. I, I'm thinking about next level. Level 20, we get to do our human spirit thing again. As It's part of the Imperius mod, where as an Imperial, we get to move our stats around. I think that's what that is. And I was thinking of lowering stamina again. But I think maybe I don't want to do that. I'm not sure what I'll do. Conjuration, not high enough to do anything with. Can we do anything over here? Now, last time, didn't we... Crown of the False King, maybe? Commanding Presence. Touch allied creatures and people. So we already have that. And this... Ooh. Ooh, maybe we do this. Like, this isn't a power. This is just an automatic thing that happens. Our aura of mystical nobility really helps our people. And this would add armor. Let's do that. Why wouldn't I? Okay, more powerful as long as you're healthy. Since we hide during most combat, that would usually work for us. Okay, cool. I, I'd been kind of focused on the conjuration, but the illusion is really kind of cool. Wow. Alright. That's that. So now it is still nighttime. <laughs> uh, oh, I should totally have slept inside there. Oh, I should have should have thought of that before. But we're going to go onward to the east. We're going to try to make our way, since there's no real roads, up to this spot and deal with those Talos worshippers. Hopefully we'll be able to talk them into... What was oh, we're fighting. Rat. It's a rat. Oh, he's fighting something. More rats? Alright, let's get out of this valley. This little canyon. And then I think we can just go this way. don't know if there's a road. Who are we fighting? Oh, uh, let's... Let's do this. Jazarko's gonna get hurt real quick. That is how it's done. Let's keep an eye out if we can. I know it's dark. For a road, yep, that's where we just were. Probably went around the wrong side. I need to swing around. Oh, look, I, I do see a path. So cool. I'm just going to keep... Oh, we need to go this way, I think. Yeah. How do we get down? I think what I'm going to do is make a quick little cut. If anything exciting happens, I'll bring you back. We're going to try to make our way to those worshippers. Wait a minute. Before I even... That is a troll. Or a, or a something? Let's just go right there. A minotaur? It is...
The man bulls. Let's do one more. All right, he's good. Now, do they have? Oh, they have a chest up here. Glass mace. Ooh, that's good stuff. Let's take that, that, and the painting. We'll leave the sword. I don't think Juzargo will use a mace. Gonna... How may I serve you? I don't think that's his skill set. Take this. Lead on, friend. And do you guys have anything on you? No, just hide. We are not gonna skin you. Like I said, if anything exciting happens, I'll bring you right back. What is this? I can't tell. Is that an imperial banner? I don't know. Unlocked door requires key. There? Are, we, are we fighting? We're fighting. Now that's how it's done. I can't tell because it's night what that is. Looks like it might be an Imperial banner. We can't go in. Interesting. Just a random house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a, a ruin up here. Let's go see. <gasps> you cannot go that way. What does that mean? You can't go that way. Let's go to this. Oh, I, it won't let me. <laughs> There's an invisible wall. So, yeah, that's this is the end of, of County Bruma. Let's actually see. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch that we can't get to. I, I thought when we first started the mod, we could only do stuff up here. And we could go down into the greener lands. I don't know what's here. We might go explore that. But... Anyways, we are trying to move our way that way. That's cool, though. I like this. I want to see what's in the chest. I want to see what's in the house. But we need to continue along this road. And see what's what. It feels like we're out of Bruma entirely. I mean, Bruma City, obviously. But I suppose we're still in Bruma County. I seem to have taken the wrong path. <laughs> How am I supposed to get to... The road is not an option. I'm just going to go through the woods. What could that be? Lakeside retreat. Oh, we're fighting. What was that? Who are we fighting? Bandits. And here I was thinking this was an inn. Let's go in and see if there's a bed. You can't win this. Catch her. It's definitely a bed. Come on, guys. Get that last dude. Now that's how it's done. Excellent. Now, let's see what uh, what the story is here. Random guy. Bandit outlaw. Any clothes? There's some books. So what I think we'll do... A shrine. Do we have any... Magic things. No, let's uh, let's do this. Some thing in Sartor. You think it could? Oh yes. Oh wait. Right. Some clothes. Perfect. Day. Let's sleep in the bed. Finally. Uh, let's see. Eight. Sure. Eight hours. Let's get dressed and head back outside. Let's go outside first in case we get surprise attacked. We're fine. 
Hey, daylight. We can see what's going on. Ooh, there's a little fort over there. But we want to go this way. Now, I've come a little bit further north so we don't have to deal with the invisible wall that's down here. I'm not sure how to get up here. Maybe in this area, swing around this way. I'll keep working on it. Let's see. Maybe we'll follow the water here. Or maybe there is a path that we were on as we came down here. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Well, we just got mauled by a black bear, so <laughs> there go those clothes we just found. And let's keep moving on. Alright, I think we're doing this right. Uh, this uphill path will... Who are you? Skuma peddler? Really? The most potent skooma. All can be yours for a fair price. No, thank you. Ah, fine. Go before you scare away potential customers. Standing around in the middle of the woods. You almost got killed by a bear. That's new. Trolls? Uh, goblins? Maybe? Interesting. We'll save that for another time. I still want to try to get to these, um... These Talos worshippers. How any of the Thalmor are going to come way out here, in the middle of nowhere, there's no houses, there's no nothing else, I think they found a good place to worship. Oh, look at these guys. Meet Olaf near Sador. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Olaf Coldheart. We met this guy ages ago. He's got a quest. It was down here. I think. Maybe it was a major one. I have no idea. Let's talk to him for a second. You made it, friend. Am I glad to see you? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Another moment too soon. My bootstraps are freezing solid. Now you're here, we are finally at full strength. And we are going to need all the strength we can get. The thugs in there are expecting unwelcome guests. It's going to be bloody work. But we'll manage. <laughs> By the nine, we are the sons of Skyrim. Wait, sons of Skyrim? Um, a slip of the tongue, friend. I'm a proud man. A traditional man. Are you a Stormcloak? No, of course not. I, uh, no. Tell me the truth. All right, fine. Yes, I believe that the Stormcloaks are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. I am doing this to prove my loyalty. And, uh, God, I'm in over my head, aren't I? I don't really... Well, it's not that I don't like the Stormcloaks. I don't really care. It's none of my business. But who are we going to go attack? I... what? I, uh... Oh, by the Divines, what have I done? Listen, please... Just let me leave. I'll, uh, go away. I'll disappear. Just please. Wait, did we, did we just threaten him? I mean, we're standing here in our underwear in the snow, and he's totally scared of us. He, he, cold heart. Come on, man. I, uh, uh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But my friend is still a... Uh, look for him. Please. See ya. So he's out of here. These guys are gone. Oh, we have absolutely no idea. Let's read this because we never found out what this was really about. I agreed to help a young Nord, Olaf Coldheart, rescue his friend from captivity in the alien ruin of Sidor. However, arriving at Olaf's makeshift camp outside of the old structure, I discovered that Olaf is in fact a Stormcloak sympathizer. I spared him, and he's fled, presumably for good. Perhaps I should seek out whatever it is he was so desperate to find. I think we should check this out. Who are you? That spell looks dangerous. Keep it away from Yeah, yeah, yeah. No beds here. What can I do for you, friend? Let's go see. Now, we still have that... Wild... Yeah, this... What, what kind of shot was that? Just take it out, guys. So we met Olaf coming out of the the inn in Bruma, and he wanted us to help him and to get our hands dirty. Another alien woman. Let's just look around for a second. Seems pretty basic. I think we're gonna sneak. I, if these are Imperials that we're going up against, we're just gonna leave. If it's Thalmor. Let's see. Let's look at the map. Who's that guy? Bandits. Well, bandits, I don't mind taking out. Is there going to be more of them? Zargo. That one was going to come after uh, Jazargo. Um, and I totally put him in a terrible spot. Let's not do What's that. Going on here? Let's go. He's running away. Don't hit me. So far, so good. Who made that noise? Who's there? Found you. You won't leave here alive. You can't win this. I knew I heard something. No, not me. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh, she, she's, she's got her eye on me. Furious backfired. We're fine. Uh, we're not wearing anything, right? Yeah, okay. So let's heal. See what's in here. Place to sleep. Oh. 
let's I only see the one guy. Feeling clumsy today? Stay still. Where you go? See, you can't hide from me. Oh, come on. Oh, like the bite of a flea. Zargo. You'll never leave here alive. I surrender. Got a coffin ready. There's still that archer. Okay, let's look at the ringleader. 100 gold, mace of ice. We'll take it. Now that's how it's done. And I think that's it. We're at the... Let's see where we're supposed to go. Okay, so this is not a thing that we have to worry about. Let's keep going. I need to get down there. Right here. Jazargo, before I forget, take this Mace of Ice. Where is he? Take this you found stuff. Some. I'll be sure to put it to good use. This? Kajit will follow. Oh, I totally did not see you there. Get him, boys. The Maw of Sidor. That's not where we need to be. So I guess I was right the first time, swinging around this way. Maybe there's a door? Oh no, Caius. Let's see what this says. Storm cloak activity, heavy near pale pass, may seek to intercept documents, avoid at all costs. Oculatus agent lying low in a broom and tavern. Apparently the shadier one. Best check restful watchman to make delivery. Avoid the Elmore agents if at all possible could intercept, may lead to complications. Interesting. Interesting. What does that mean? Any clothes? Staff of Fury, though. List of Stormcloak Sympathizers. Oh, I can't read it. Huh, what does the quest say? It turns out that Olaf's friend is dead and his documents are scattered about the ruin. I'd best search for them if I want to figure out what's going on here. So it looks like... There's a couple around. So we picked up the documents. So we can just head back. I'll have to... Ooh, Jazargo, you scared me. Yeah, down there. Skyrim Report Part 2. My own investigations into the character of Ulfric Stormcloak have turned up some very interesting tidbits we've been aware for some time of his status as a potential asset of the Thalmor, which of course we know from the main quest. 
But if he ever operated in their interests, one thing is clear, the Thalmor have utterly lost control of him. This uprising has grown beyond mere agitation and distraction from the Empire's southern borders and into the realms of true full-scale secession. Elven soldiers and ag agents rarely make it out of Stormcloak-held territory in anything approaching one piece, and as far as I can tell, the leadership of the natives has refuted all direct communication with the Thalmor or their embassy. This is not to say they aren't receiving any outside support. I've provided an attached list of 14 companies and organizations I suspect of providing arms, armor, or funds to the Stormcloaks, many of which are registered under Altmer and Imperial names. Walfric appears to have purged himself and his organization of the most overt elven influence some time ago. Whatever he was fighting for in the end, he bloody meant it. So, since we haven't done the Civil War, we, we never picked a side, which is fine. But this is interesting stuff. Skyrim Report Part 4. So we're not reading these in order. Which brings me to our last point. The summary execution of Elfric Stormcloak, his support, supporters, and any suspected enemy agents upon their escort to Helgen. No trials, no protests, no escape. Short, yes. Brutal, absolutely. Illegal, quite possibly. Frankly, I, we, just want this damn war over. The men of the 4th Legion want to go home. Every minute Ulfric stays alive not only prolongs the bloodshed, it strengthens the Thalmor and makes it more likely Elenwen, the horse thief, or the traveler will enact an escape plan. Eleanor, Elenwen, the horse thief, or the traveler. Elenwen. Who's Elenwen? Who's Elenwen? Elenwen is the Thalmor ambassador, right? That we dealt with, that we met at, you know, when we did the undercover thing. And that's when we found out that Ulfric was possibly an agent of the Thalmor. We are the horse thief, I think. Who's the traveler? More time means more dead men, women, and children. I feel it is in everyone's best interest that every prisoner captured meets their end at Hulgen and avoid a long protracted war. I am willing to personally vouch for Tullius if you feel this is beyond his remit to end the uprising. I'll be sending this message with a messenger of the general while I accompany him to Helgen to see the end of all of this. You'll find the bear of the north's head following a few days later with my full report. I look forward to my debriefing back home. Long live the emperor, Agent Claudius. Not Caius, the guy that we found. There's this. Part 3. I feel it is in inevitable that Elenwyn will try some last-minute desperate attempt to keep Ulfric alive in this war going. As of writing this report, she's been unsuccessfully attempted to take... So I think this is from... Because the Imperials and the Thalmor are at odds, and the Thalmor have been strong-arming the Emperor and the whole Cyrodelic Empire. And so these are Imperials that hate the Thalmor... But it, I guess they also hate the Stormcloaks. Anyway, as of writing this report, she has unsuccessfully attempted to take command of the prisoner detail herself and has demanded to speak to Tullius again upon their arrival at Helgen. Of course, after passing into Thalmor hands, the Stormcloaks will make a miraculous escape attempt and the war will rage on. Which, of course, is what happens at the beginning of the game. Tullius, for his part, has treated any threats, diplomatic or otherwise, with all the contempt they deserve. Two seemingly unaffiliated individuals were caught in the ambush and interred with the rebels, a horse thief and a traveler from over the border. Oh, maybe we're the traveler. They are being treated as potential inside agents or jailbreakers. After all, the timing of their arrival is a little too convenient for anyone's taste, and this time, the general is determined not to take any chances. So it's pretty brutal. Like, our, our beheading, or almost beheading, was... It was just high politics. No trial or anything. All right, so that's that. Very first one. For the inward seeing eye of Cyrodiil's nobody, the inward seeing eye and Cyrodiil's nobody, only Skyrim report. Inspector Claudius, 16 last seed, 4th era 201. Hail, 
I hope this report receives you in good health. By the divines, you're going to be feeling good when you've finished reading it. As I'm sure you're aware, I was assigned to the Skyrim task as a personal attache of General Tullius and to monitor the increasingly warm Cold War between the Empire and the Dominion. So do you think this puts into light the idea that the Thalmor were behind the Stormcloaks, which does and doesn't make sense because they want to keep the Empire weak so that they can't fight them. The situation is getting well warm after, especially after the Ambassador Allen One's own reassignment to the North following the Markarth incident. I'm going to assume you're familiar with the official version of the Civil War in Skyrim. I understand the Nibbin Herald can't get enough of it. But events up here have finally taken a positive turn. General Tullius has just hours before these documents were drafted captured the Bear of the North himself. We suspect Ulfric's Alfre Stormcloak and a cadre of supporters were trying to sway the Orphan Rock clan of witches and Falkreath into treason against the Empire when they were tempted by a bait force of legionnaires. To their great credit, the men were able to draw the Stormcloaks close enough to the border with Cyrodiil to allow a much larger force to incapac inca incapacitate the traitor and his men. They are now being escorted under heavy guard to Helgen, which we know. Let's take those points. Oh, let's take the um, thing. Escape from Sidor. Oh, uh, escape. There's just more guys. What I want is to do one of these. Come on. I need you to attack each other. Yeah. Heal you. I feel like I just woke from a And then Oh, I think we're I think we got it. Let's yeah, let's get him behind. Okay, and then heal Jazark. Oh, he's done. Let's... Where is the guy? There was a named guy. Use a spell. There we go. Yeah, Brescius the Pillager. Does he have a note or anything? He has a gigantic sword. Which we'll take. You... I mean, a little gold, since we're stealing or looting. We've done it. So, hmm. Yeah, burn the documents. All right, let's, let's see what it says. With Olaf out of the picture, I now have a decision to make. What should I do with Caius's documents? The contents of which are extremely sensitive. I could deliver them to a Storm Cloak agent. I could locate an agent of the Imperials, or I could hand them over to Armian, the Thalmor's agent in Bruma, which I absolutely won't do. I think I might... I don't know. It's something to think about. Let's, uh, let's wrap up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. I'm going to think about what I should do. If you have any thoughts, I mean, Nulla is an Imperial, but she's not vested in the war. But maybe she would want the truth to come you. out. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Take care.